Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Ray, and we're going to go down the Web3 rabbit hole briefly. If you're new to Web3, then you've come to the right place, and we're going to talk about what is Web3. We'll help you with concepts such as blockchain, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. We'll help you talk about how to buy crypto, how to do it, how to accomplish that, setting up a wallet, right? And avoiding wallet scams and all the other different types of scams in crypto because there are a lot. We'll help you learn how to use L2 and L1 chains to save money. What the heck are L1 chains? What is L2? L2 is a layer two protocols that are built on layer one blockchains. That is what they are. And we'll get into that a little further in some other videos. Let's start by discussing why does Web3 matter? Why does it even matter? Crypto has one feature that has never existed before, and it's huge. It's trust. If trust can be set by code, then people don't have to rely on middlemen to get things done. They don't have to trust banks to get paid. They don't have to trust lawyers to draft a contract. And they don't have to trust social networks to make a living. With trust comes ownership. By reducing the middleman tax, people can finally own the upside from their work. Web3 matters because we're building an internet owned by people instead of middlemen. It's a huge leap, an amazing concept. It's why people over here are so passionate and just love what's going on here. We're just building and it's amazing. It's still early for Web3. There are scammers that undermine this trust and ownership narrative. That's why it's important, so important to get educated early. And we're going to compare Web 1, Web 2 and what Web 3. Some don't even know that there's a such, you know, a thing out there like that. Web 1, read you used to only be able to read and that would all that would be all the interaction you could do on a website in web one web two read and write you were able to read and then also build and write on websites web three read write and own you know that's the huge thing that's the big idea now if you remember <laughs> That's kind of what it looked like, right? If you remember Web 1, early 90s, 1990s, uh, early 2000s, it was read-only. People consumed static web pages that they navigated to from directories like Yahoo. Web 1 was built on open source protocols like HTTP, right? Web 2, Web 2, early 2000s to today is read and write. People create and consume content on the social platforms that we're all familiar with. In Web2, tech giants extract value from users by sitting in the middle. Web2 is built on client-based architecture, right? Client-server architecture, where users are the client and companies control the servers. That's what's happening currently right now. So Web3, Web3 is 2020 till now and into the future. It's read, write, and own. People create, consume, and own the upside of their work through tokens. Web3 is built on peer-to-peer -peer networks of computers that talk to each other without middlemen. That's blockchain. That's the code that's written by developers, smart contracts amazing that's what's going on here so web3 is powered by tokens and we're going to talk about that what is a token a token is a record of ownership of an asset tokens can be fungible or non-fungible fungible tokens are interchangeable like the US dollar Bitcoin non-fungible tokens are unique like a piece of art give me an example if you're a company, you're going to take any dollar as payment, right? But if you are only going to take a certain dollar 
that had a certain red social security number on that printed dollar, that would be a non-fungible token then. You're only going to take that one specific dollar for a payment. That's a non-fungible token, right? So let's let's look at a game like Fortnite or, or Roblox as an example. Fungible tokens are the virtual currency like V-Bucks, right? Or Robux that are in these games. Non-fungible tokens are the character skins and emotes in the games, right? Those unique uh, pieces that the, either the character plays or, or wears uh, these skins. But just to get a little example of two, when you hear tokens and coins, tokens live on the blockchain, right? And we will go into uh, a little further uh, with some more videos about explaining what's the difference. But a very quick example is tokens are, are tokens that it can live on many different blockchains. But a coin like Bitcoin only lives on the Bitcoin blockchain, right? It is a coin. It is native to the Bitcoin blockchain, right? So that's differences when you hear people talking about coins and tokens. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening. And we're going to have a whole bunch more videos that can help you get a good idea of Web3, blockchains, and, uh, you know, cryptocurrency. Thanks. Bye.